Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to my online class. Today I'm kicking off a new series. It's an exciting day because there's a lot of things happening today, but the first is that I'm kicking off a new series of Diagonal Joy Fold cards. It's a really fun and easy fun fold to make. Um, I'm gonna share how to make this uh, card with the Pansy Petals bundle from Stampin' Up, but I, at the end of this video, I have an entire series that I'm gonna be rolling out on my blog over the next week that I cannot wait to share with you guys. And I am broadcasting live on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter, and you may be watching live, you may be watching the Pinterest, uh, the replay on any of those channels or on Pinterest. I invite you to please subscribe if you are new and hit that like button. And, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about a giveaway because I always have a giveaway when I'm live. And we are going to be giving away the birthday card organizer kit. This is part of my Stampin' Demonstrator Group's blog hop. So it's blog hop day, which is why I'm on Saturday morning instead of Thursday or Friday. And um, we're gonna be giving away this awesome kit, very popular kit. I always have a free giveaway. It's always free to enter, but there are different, different ways of entry. And today's uh, form of entry will be to leave a comment on my blog hop post, which is this class. So if you click on the link in this video's description or go to stampwithtammy.com, you will... Um to download and this has all the measurements and a template for you guys. So uh, I like to make things as easy as possible and you'll be able to leave your comment there and you can enter multiple times by leaving a comment on each blog in the hop. So uh, one, one comment per blog post uh, to enter and we'll be drawing the winner on the next blog, on the, next, the next blog hop, which is next month. And that means there's a winner from last month's posted, so it may be you. Make sure you check that out while you're there with all of the excitement. All right, so I'm making this uh, the, with the Petal Pansies. Let's pop down to the table. I'll show you the card. So this is what I'm gonna be working with for our sample today. It's really great to see you guys too. For those of you who are popping on live, I love being able to stamp with people. That's fun. I know not everybody can can join live based on the time zones and work schedules and all that. But this morning, it's great to see everybody who's on here live. And for those of you watching the replay, thank you so much for being a part of the video. And I hope that you enjoy it. This is what we're going to be making. It's called a uh, diagonal joy fold. So it's one, two folds. So you got kind of a little surprise inside and they're super fun. Again, I'm gonna have a bunch of these to share at the end of the video that I've been, I, I, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I always love a good fun fold, especially when they're easy. So I'm gonna make this card today and I'll be using the, it's the Pansy Patch and the Pansy Dies from Stampin' Up. So these are, um, they came out in last year's annual catalog. They're still, they're carrying over. They'll be in the new catalog that's coming out in just a couple of weeks, actually. Yeah, a couple of weeks. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Um, and that reminds me of some other stuff I'll share with you guys. But we'll 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 talk about that in a little bit. First, let's do some stamping. What do you guys say? Stamping? Yes. Yay? Yeah. Because I can't wait to start. All right, so I'm just gonna move these aside and I'm going to start with doo -doo 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 -doo. let's start with the stamping and then we'll do the fold. What do you guys think? Because I'm gonna share how to make uh, these pansies using the stamp set. It's a two-stepper. It's actually multi-stepper. I call this a builder set. So you can see it multiple pieces together and get multiple colors like this, and it's super easy. It's one of the questions I get asked a lot. How do I get multiple colors on a card? And this is one way to do it. There's many ways, but this is one, and this is probably the easiest, and that's with a two-step stamp set. I'm just gonna push those over to the side, and we can focus on the stamping. So I've got some Whisper White cardstock from Stampin' Up. And I've got a little guide here, which I'll share with you in a minute of the colors that I used. And maybe I'll leave the stamp set out so you can kind of see the stamps that I'm using. Now I'm gonna be using Berry Burst, which is a comeback color, part of, uh, it's gonna be part of the new core line next in two weeks. And um, I've got the stamp, I only put the stamps in here to make them easy to move around. So the stamps are gonna kind of go and I'm actually gonna use a piece of, I, I've got my, this is just a copy of the PDF that you can download free on my blog. I'm just using it as scrap because I'm gonna do some stamping off with this. So Berry Burst and Daffodil Delight are the two colors I'm going to use for these pansies. 
Love that berry burst. Are you guys super excited to see that color come back? Some of you may be new and this is your first experience with berry burst. It is awesome. I'm super, super happy to see it. So I'm gonna go with the solid first, the, or the more solid of the larger images. And I'm gonna ink it up in berry burst and I'm gonna stamp this off on some scrap paper. And let me zoom in just a hair so you guys can see a little bit more. Let's see, is that, does that work? Can you see? So I'm gonna stamp it up once, twice, and then I'm gonna stamp it on my, my basic white. So it's very light. And I want, it to, I want it to blend with the other colors, but I want it to be light. Now the next up is this one. And I'm gonna stamp that off as well. So berry burst, stamping that off once. So it's also gonna be light, but a shade darker than the first one we stamped. And next up is gonna be these two. So I'm looking at this one and this one. So these two, I call this the beard. <laughs> Can you see that one? I don't, I don't know why, it just makes me laugh. So I'm also stamping that in Berry Burst. So I'm using all the same color, but you can already see you've got like a, a flower forming here with the multiple layers of color. Isn't that awesome? Very pretty. And then the beard goes on and, and these I'm not stamping off at all. They're going in full color. So we've got a little bit of depth to it with the different colors. Everything blends together and we've got this beautiful pansy little face going. And the last one I'm gonna stamp is this right here. And I'm stamping that in Daffodil Delight because I kind of looked at some pictures of pansies and the ones that are popping up in my yard right now. And this may not be exactly like them, but it's close. So then I've got my, my pansy all stamped and isn't it pretty? I love it, I love it a lot. And then I'm gonna take, and the, the die set, which I just moved to the side here, the die set has this solid um, die that stamps this out. It also has dies that you can build pansies with. And I actually have, um, Linda and I actually did a whole video on this that you, you can find on my blog that shares um, how to put the pieces together to build pansies with the die set. But for now, I'm just gonna take this die and I'm gonna cut out the pansy. I'm probably gonna stamp a couple more move these out of the way because through the magic of video and brrr, we're just going to pretend we're just going to pretend a die cut machine went, went by and oh, we've got one two three four um, pansies now one other thing that I'm going to share here um, is that once you let me pull this one back out again once I die cut it there was a little white border that was around the edge um, of the the pansy so I took I took a um, either a sponge or a sponge dauber and then um, I just kind of well, after I, I did this after I cut it but you could do it before too I just kind of sponged where that white edging was that went around sometimes I like that white edging but on this particular one I didn't want it so I, I, I sponged around and, and this is the it looks better after it's cut but this is the end result so we've got our pretty pansies all stamped and they are ready for uh, they're ready to be put to work on our card <laughs> oh Diana you know what they used to intimidate me too but once you work with them once and you especially when you see it used all of a sudden you know, like it comes to you and you're like wow you know like it's so much easier to, to do than coloring although I love to color too so I cut um, a couple of I cut one in uh, Blackberry Bliss and one in gold foil um the same exact you know full pansy there and i'm going to cut these in half i might even cut them slightly more than that but for now right. i'm going to cut the center out of that one okay and the reason why i'm doing this is because i'm going to create just a little bit of a shadow with a not all of them just a couple of them So I took one of them, pick whichever one you like the best. <laughs> Joan says her granddaughter says the yellow part looks like a man's face. And that's funny because I call that other little insert the beard. <laughs> they do look like happy little faces there, don't they? So I'm just taking a seal adhesive or any kind of adhesive and I'm putting it on the back of, oh, little guy stuck to my silicone, on the back of the pansy. And then I'm gonna take the um, die cut this way and just a tiny little bit of reveal so it's a little like a little shadow a little reveal and I'm doing on this with the gold 
I'm going to do it on both sides of this so it has a little bit of gold reveal on both sides. And so that's going to just make it really pop when I when we make our little pansy patch, our little garden. <laughs> Paula says the flowers look like Chewbacca. <laughs> we got man's face. I can see the face. Chewbacca. Eh, I guess maybe if I looked at it pretty hard, I might be able to see that one too. <laughs> I'm going to go outside when they are all up in the garden and start looking and see what I see on the, on the actual flowers. If we see little, you know, how you see cloud formations, if you see faces in the flowers. I do want some of them, don't you? So for the Blackberry Bliss, I'm going to do the same reveal, but instead of doing it on both sides, I'm going to do it on um, one side, one left, one right of two of the flowers. And this reveal part, I mean, you don't have to do that. Now see this little, this is why I cut the center out. See that little right there. I don't, I don't want that to show because I want it to look like there's an actual full thing behind there. I don't want anyone to know we cheated and only did a partial, you know, when you give it to some, your loved one, not that they inspect it. Cause you know, nobody does. We're the only ones that see that. Okay. So we've got our little pansies kind of all cut. And then I pre-cut some leaves out of gold and I've got this little stem. These are all part of the die set. Um, super cute. We love them. All right. So these are the pieces that I pre-cut. I'm going to put this aside and now we're going to work on the fun fold and then we'll do some decorating at the end. All right. So fun part, right? I don't know which part I like better doing the fun folds or doing the creating the stamping. I love it all. So for those of you who are new, I do have a free PDF on my blog. You can click on the link in this video's description. No matter where you're watching it, there is a link in the description that will bring you directly to this uh, project page where you can get all the information. You can take that blog hop tour, enter the giveaway and all of that. And if for some reason you're on a device that you're having a hard time seeing the direct the description, sometimes on my phone, I have a hard time getting that to pop up on YouTube. Then um, you can go ahead and go to stampwithtammy.com shown here, Tammy with an I, and you'll be able to see it um, for the next week, probably be on the homepage. After that, you can click the video tab and you'll see all of my videos there and you will find this as well. Or you can type pansy into the, or diagonal joyfold into the search on the blog. So there's multiple different ways to find it, but I want you to find it. <laughs> I want you to make it, I like to make it easy for you guys to, to do. So I put this quick, quickly together. I've got a standard size card base here. I'm using black. And so I promise after I will go back and do it again in color, just so you guys can see the contrast. I know that when I use black, sometimes it's hard to see. So eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm going to score it in half, just like I would any standard size card base. So at four and a quarter, we're going to score that in half. And then normally I would take my bone folder at this moment and score this so that it's burnished really well. But just in the interest of time, I'm just going to pretend we did that. We're going to unfold. I'm going to pick whichever side I want to be the front. It could be this one. It could be that one just so that it opens the right way. And I'm going to put it on the paper trimmer so that the top left corner and the, the bottom right corner. So it's going to be a diagonal. And I'm going to cut right at the diagonal. So when we're done, this is what the, um, this is what the fold is going to look like. Now there's two pieces to the um, base. The next one is three inches by eight inches, and we're going to score that in half at four inches. There is closed captioning on YouTube, Joan. Um, there's a little button. There should be a little button below that says CC. So if, you, if you'd like to see it, if not, I know Facebook's comes up automatically on YouTube's. I don't know. It may not come up automatically, but if you click that little button on the video that says CC, it should autom it should come up for you or anybody that's having a hard time hearing. Okay. So this is the second part of the card base. So next we're going to want to decorate the card, right? So we're going to take some panels and, oh, I'm a dope. Well, we're just gonna we're gonna use some imagination here. So, <clears throat> and in, in the interest of saving cardstock, I cut those little pieces, the gold pieces, out of the center of my um, gold panels that I'm going to be layering on. 
So it's going to layer like this, which is all fun and, you know, it's all fine and dandy. This is good, a good thing to do, but I didn't think that I did it, at, you know, I was a dope when I did it out of the panel that I want to actually use as a layer in the card. So I may not be able to use this one. So be mindful of which layers you actually <laughs> cut it out of the center of. I'm just going to kind of go along. I'm going to have to replace this layer after. So just in the interest of making the card, I'm going to still do it. You'll understand what I mean when I put it together. There's going to be a little gap there. Maybe I can Maybe I can do a little less surgery. I don't know. This may or may not work, but yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why not? I'm all for I'm all for trying to make things work, right? At least for the video, and if it doesn't if it doesn't work out, I'll just replace it later. You get the idea. Let's see if we can cover that up. Let it bang. Um, yeah, I don't know how good that's going to look. Anyhow, we're just going to keep going. We're going to pretend that's, that that seam isn't there. So that's one of the layers. And then the next one is going to be, um, the next one is going to be Blackberry Bliss. So for Blackberry Bliss, I'm going to cut that one in half. This is going to be our front panel. And after it's cut in half, and actually it's going to go this way. After it's cut in half for this one, and this is a total optional uh, part, but I took the crosshatch um, embossing folder. This is a 3D embossing folder, and I ran it through the, um, and you, you can just do one if you're only using one half, but if you're making two cards, you can actually do both halves just by flipping. I ran it through, and when it came out, magic, magic again, we've got some embossed uh, triangles there that are going to layer. So that's going to layer on top of that. And then we've got our pieces. I'm still, I'm still trying to uh, <laughs> do a little surgery on this one that I messed up on, but that's okay. So let me bring in the pieces that we're going to assemble because now all we have left is assembly. So we've got the card base. I'll back up just a hair here. I think we might be a little too close. There we go. We've got card base. We've got the two panels that go inside the card base. These two are going to layer on the front. This is the inside um, fold. I've got gold and white for the inside. And then I just uh, pre-embossed this love you so much for the front and that's going to layer on a piece of gold foil as well. Now, if you're sitting there going, I just popped in, I don't know what measurements you used. You will find all of the measurements and the scoring that I just, just said on this free PDF on the blog. So I like to make it easy and I like it that you, you can either stamp along or you can um, come back and watch it later, but I don't want you to have to sit there and write the whole time that you're watching because I feel like you might miss stuff and then you really have to go back. So now I'm just going to layer these, these most of these layers at least, uh, with some seal adhesive onto the card. So that's the inside and then we'll do the front, the first flap right here. That's the one I did a little surgery on. We're just going to use our imagination on this one. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back later and maybe take it apart and redo it, but that's okay for the interest of the video, you guys. So, and all it is is just a matter of um, sizing, just cutting it the right size and then cutting it diagonal and it should pop up the right size for you. And if it doesn't, you can usually trim it down. Like this one's a little tight, but that's okay. It's dark, so it'll be okay. So that's our front flap. And then these pieces, I'm gonna put this on the inside that over so I don't keep landing in that little splotch of adhesive that's sticking on the silicone mat. So that's going to go on the inside. These two are going to go on the outside. Thanks, Lisa. She says she can't even tell my little goof, especially not when I, you know what, actually, unless you were looking for it, you really can't see it, can you? 
I see it. I know it's there because I made the card, but I guess if I gave it to somebody, I really wouldn't, uh, I really wouldn't know it was there. Thank you, Linda. Um, she says on YouTube, uh, there is a CC setting. That's for Joan, um, for the you for the closed captioning. Appreciate, appreciate your help there. I, I can't look at it while I'm stamping. I know it's, I knew it was there somewhere. Especially YouTube, I think it's automatically there. And Facebook normally, like their default is to have the closed captioning on. All right, so I just put that together and then I'm gonna put some seal adhesive on the back of this. And I'm gonna line it up in the very center of the inside of the card. So now, boom, that's it. That's the fold. But of course it's boring. <laughs> right we need something on it I mean it's a really cool fold don't get me wrong but we want something on it so now boom in comes all of these pretty pansies that we just uh, decorated or just made created so what I'm gonna do is take the two that I put the Blackberry reveal underneath and the one that I have the the gold on top now the only thing that you want to be mindful of and I like to go off the edge here but you want to be mindful of this fold. So if you don't want to go off the edge on the top or your flower will fold, and that's not pretty. So just, a, I'm putting these two on flat, just kind of a little angle there. See how, this is what I mean by, I like it to go off the edge. Just don't go off the top because of that one little issue that will happen. And then for dimensionals, if you have black, I always like to use them when you're using dark cardstock because they blend right in. If you don't have black, regular ones work too. This would make a great graduation card. Agreed. <laughs> love it. I love it. My job here is done, Sue. She's like, I'm absolutely making this card. I love it. Where do you see the rest of them? Oh my gosh. I, 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 I really had a hard time deciding which one to make on the live video because there was just, I love them all so much. So I've got just kind of some random leaves here. I'm gonna leave these two aside. I'm gonna leave, get it, leave, leave, ba dum bump. Saturday morning, I know it might take a minute, but when, it, when you get it, you get it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna just tuck them underneath. Just to add a little something, something. So I don't leave anything behind. And the gold and the blackberry and the black is just such a classy. Julie, I am supposed to be water skiing right after this, actually. We have started skiing here, even though it's only like 40 degrees outside right now. Um, after the video, though. But video always comes first. Stamping before skiing. <laughs> Why? You guys are more important. But, you know, I do like my water skiing. All right. So we've got a front done. Now, just so we don't leave a naked inside. Oh, thanks, Terry. Uh, the, the blackberry and the gold together, I agree. They're just, they're, they're so classy, I guess maybe is the word I'm looking for. So I'm going to put this to the side. <laughs> Diana, thanks. She's like, try to roll. <laughs> it's Saturday morning and I'm silly. So this is going to just kind of hang with just for a little something special on the inside. Maybe add a little leaf to that one too, because I don't want to leaf that one naked. There. But wait, there's more because we need some bling, right? All right. Yeah. You like the Easter Bunny skiing? Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. All the little kids on the, for those, I, I wish I had the picture to share with you guys if you haven't seen it. It was in my newsletter last week. Uh, so friends of mine and I went out in the boat on Easter and uh, dressed up as the Easter Bunny on the wakeboard and went around. All the little kids on the lake were out waving to the Easter Bunny. It was so adorable. So much fun. I always loved doing stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, that was so cute. We've done SpongeBob before. <laughs> uh, good times. All right, so I'm taking these are metallic dots and I'm just adding them to uh, the center just for a little something because I feel like, you know, it's never really fully dressed until it's got some bling. I'm gonna just zoom in a hair here. Okay. <laughs> You're always going to see the face on the pansy. Well, now I just put a nose in that face. All right. So now we want to put a little nature on here, right? Because we've got some spring flowers and I've got a little bit of, uh, let's see, there we go. 
Can you guys see okay? I just want to make sure we're in focus. I finally found a way to get the camera to stop auto-focusing all the time, but that means anytime I zoom in, I have to manually remember to focus the camera. But I think it's just so much easier than having it constantly trying to focus while we're stamping because, I don't know, it's distracting. So I'm just taking, these are brass butterflies, and I think they're perfect, right? They're perfect, and they go on here, and let's see, I think I put one, yeah. I'm gonna put one up here going off the top. Like maybe over there, it's flying away from the garden. Now, now it's complete. And that is the Panty Patch Joyfold card. And then I, I did two of these. Let me just back out of here, here, there we go. I did two of these with the Pansy Patch. Now the second one I did, I used some new stuff. So uh, the if you guys have seen the new colors, the, the new core colors, uh, Bubble Bath is one of them and it's a really pretty light pink. And so um, I used that and then this is Bright and Beautiful Designer Series paper, it has some great wash designs. And one of them was the, the it was like there was a rat, um, I was gonna call it Rich Razzleberry. Oh. Poor Rich Razzleberry going goodbye. Berry Burst. And then there was a bubble bath. So together, I thought they, look, they looked really great. So there's two different Petal Pansy designs on that one. Speaking of colors, while I'm, while I've got, while I'm talking about colors, there is um, a core color refresh happening. And um, there's also um, new ink colors coming out in two weeks, unless you're a demonstrator or you purchase a demonstrator kit, in which case you can get these now. They're earthy tones. They're very beautiful. And together they make, the cards are just gorgeous. I've put together, um, some bundles. I've been doing this the last couple of years and I know people have started to ask me, are you doing it? Are you doing it? Yes. Um, and so Monday be looking for, uh, my special offers on the color bundles. So you can um, get yours right away because you know nobody wants to wait on the fun stuff. They are beautiful, and I'll have all the details on Monday on that. You can save up to thirty percent. And there is, uh, in addition to that, new core colors. We are doing a little bit of a color refresh, so there's new core colors coming out in the um, new annual catalog as well. So if you don't have a copy of the annual catalog and you don't have a demonstrator, I would be honored to be your demonstrator. And you can request that on my blog and you can just click on the link in the video's description or go to stampwithtammy.com. And next up, I'm going to just mention the upcoming paper pumpkin because um, the, the next sample, and I have a lot of ideas to share with you guys, the next sample that I'm going to be sharing here is the uh, paper pumpkin for, and this is the upcoming one that you can subscribe to, but the one I'm going to be sharing here is, um, I, I did alternates to the paper pumpkin kit, and this is the current, the April one. So it's the all the little things. I haven't seen refills come out for this, and I haven't gotten any news on refills, so I don't know um, what's happening with those, but this was what the kit made. And the cards were oops, upside down there. This was envelopes are even beautiful. But the cards, this was one of the be most beautiful kits. You can see that they're like holographic. So that's what the kit made. And as always, I've got alternates for it. So I did, these are the diagonal joy folds made with pieces from that kit, leftover pieces I had from the kit. How beautiful is this, right? I love them. So much you can do with Paper Pumpkin. And if you are not a subscriber, you can check that out on my call, uh, my blog as well. Okay. All right, so that is with the Paper Pumpkin. But wait, there's more. All right, so I'm going to jump in now with the rest of uh, the cards in this series. So I'm going to start with, um, and what I'm sharing now, you'll find uh, I will have tutorials for all of them on my blog over the next week. So the first one I have to share, it's the Share a Milkshake Bundle. This is a, a stamp and die that was in the mini catalog and it is carrying over, yay. So I used some glimmer paper for the ice cream here and uh, made a little ice cream cone. And then if you'll notice, a little different um, front here. The scallop front was actually from a die. So I probably have like a video short to show how I did this um, with the die, how I created that, that fun fold flap. 
That's kind of a cool little trick there. So stay tuned for that. That is the Build a Milkshake bundle. All right, so next up, more from that new catalog that's coming out in a couple of weeks. This is a host set. It's called Night of Flight, and they're, they're moths. You could certainly make them into butterflies. So I used that in some uh, Stampin' Blend. How beautiful is this? Talk about color combinations. Loving this. Um, but I used that, and I um, made the moths out of the... Um, the stamps and the blends. I made this into a, um, a sympathy card and the words, if you're loving that font, are also a new set coming out in the new catalog called Lost, uh, Lasting Joy. So you could certainly swap out the sympathy card with a birthday um, or wedding card or other, there's so many different um, occasions in that stamp set. So this one, Night of Flight, and it is a host set. Really pretty there. All right, next, I did a lot of new catalog stuff. I, I've really been having a lot of fun playing with the new catalog. So this is from the Beautiful Balloons. And this is the same designer paper from this suite that I used, um, I don't even know where I threw it to the side. I used on the pansy, the second, here it is. The second pansy is from this suite. So this designer series paper is the same paper that I'm from this suite that I used. So took the balloons. This suite, and I don't have it with me, also has um, these window sheets that have these cool patterns on them. So I used that, made a fun birthday card out of that one. So that's from Beautiful Balloons. Another one from the new catalog. This one is Countryside Corners. Now, this bundle, I'm loving the dies that are in here. I think these dies are then they're they're nested and they're definitely gonna, especially with stitched rectangles retiring, they're definitely gonna be hot on my on my staple list of, of dies. And you'll see that I took the dies and I made a little bit of a different flap here for the joy fold. And I'll 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 do like a little short again to share how I did that. But this is designer series paper that's part of that suite. And uh, this one's a really pretty, it's a great, uh, it's like blue tones and it will make a great masculine suite. Now I made this one thinking of you, but um, I don't believe I used the same, did I use Lasting Joy? No, used a different, wonderful thoughts, wonderful thoughts for the words. You can always change those out and make this good for another occasion. All right, next up, you love this one, you know I'm <laughs> You know what, I'm sorry, the dies are all, I don't have them very nicely displayed for you guys today. But this one I had from the last series. So the last series was um, Accordion Fun Fold. And if you missed that one, you can check this out on my blog, the Accordion Fun Fold cards. So this is part of the Zany Zoo. And now for the Diagonal Joy Fold, this is something to celebrate, and we've got the designer paper has all these cute little critters on it, and there's different pages, like one's a celebration, one's a bunch of critters that are playing um, instruments, one's a bunch of adventure, and different, like, they're, they're different, like, the whole page is a theme. So I used some critters from the uh, musical page of designer series paper, but you can also use the stamps as well. And the backside of all the paper in that suite it's black and white patterns. So it kind of makes a nice little uh, nice little background there. All right, so that's Zany Zoo. Next up, this is a current stamp set, Wildlife Wonder, but the paper is the new Daisy Sweet paper in the background. Cause I just, I, I don't know why, I just really like the bear with the, the free uh, watercolor daisies on there. And I made this one a little bit of a masculine card. If you can think of daisies as a masculine card, like that's where I was going with it. I felt like it was a very naturey and Father's Day coming. I know this is a Mother's Day blog hop, but <laughs> Father's Day is coming. And I was really going for that, that kind of look. In fact, I think next month's um, blog hop is Father's Day. All right, so speaking of the daisies, we'll, we'll bounce right into that. So the cheerful daisies, and sorry, my die set's kind of a mess there, but I do have a whole uh, image here that you can see of it not really messed up. So you can see there's some beautiful paper here. I've been kind of using it for a bunch of different things. I just used it on that, um, the bear card. So this card here uses um, several different uh, patterns from that paper. And I stamped, so I stamped the dies around the edges and made them more of a, I don't know what you would call that, Black Eyed Susan maybe. 
on there. I was going for the yellow, the, the yellow flowers and a really pretty look. And I did a little bit of a splatter effect on that. And the paper is the same as this is one of the designs I made last week in the accordion fun fold card. So you can kind of see the paper. And then I did bring out some of the other. So these are from the accordion card class that I did last week. These all use the same pa paper pack. So these are all from the, the that Cheerful Daisies paper pack, the designer series. But even this one, even this paper is from that same pack, right? All from the daisies. So that just a little bit of, uh, you can see how many different things that you can do with that, even though, you know, like some are floral, but some are completely different, right? So it gives you a, a little bit of versatility. All right, so that is the end of my series and my class today on the Diagonal Joyfold. I did promise you I would make it one more time in color. Let me do that really quickly for you guys, especially if you're popping in late. This is just gonna be a very quick one. Um, I don't want to forget to do that because I know a lot of times when I'm working in, in black or dark colors, it's hard for you guys to see. So I've got my standard size card base already folded in half. This is an eight and a half by 11. And then this is the three by eight folded in half at four inches. All right, so we're gonna take the paper trimmer. And I'm going to, again, the lower right corner to the, the, the score line here of the upper left. So that's gonna make the diagonal. So that's gonna give us our fold. And then we're gonna take this and insert it right in the center. Let me put a little, I'll put an adhesive on it so it stays. So that's gonna line up right in the center of the inside there. And then, boom. Just, just so you can kind of see the fold. I know the black sometimes is, is blended there. It's sometimes it, you know, kind of all blends together. And it makes it hard to see. So for those of you who are visual, I know I, we all kind of are visual, aren't we? <laughs> but for those of you who are visual and having a hard time kind of getting it with the black, this is how it goes together with the colors. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to uh, head on over to that blog hop so you can uh, enter our giveaway. It's free to enter. It's a, an amazing kit. And there are some amazing ideas on there from our uh, Mother's Day blog. <laughs>the free pdf as well and uh, i will look forward to i think belinda and i are going to be back this week and next week i believe we have a couple weeks of fun things to be sharing with you guys so stay tuned for even more and all of the samples that i shared in the series you'll find them on stampwithtammy.com i will have tutorials for them over the next week so that you guys can get all the information on all of them thank you so much for joining me today